So now I am for sure finished cleaning the kitchen. Just so I'm about to dirty it right back up. I'm about to get it started. There's the fish and the shrimp that's been marinating. Here's my wine that's been marinating just for me to take a sip. Okay. This is some of the prep items I'm going to be using. I got some heavy cream, pepper, onion, some garlic. Some parmesan, my rigatoni noodles. Um, I had to get some rest, the rest of the stuff and I'll be back. Hey y'all, so I've been here trying to act like my knife skills is so crazy. Right, Al? Check me out. Yeah, this is my knife set, the Eat Neat knife set. It's pretty cool. I love it. I've been using my stuff. Boom, 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 got a shot. Ooh, I ain't nice. But I'm all right. I ain't half bad. All right, so that's my garlic chopped. A little bit more. A few more rest. Chop some in. Now I'm gonna do my onion. So here are my veggies. They are chopped up. I have some fresh garlic, about six little cloves, a half of a half of a big red onion, half a green pepper, half of a half of a white onion, and yeah, I'm about to put that in a pan. So I'll take everything and some butter, and I'll be back. Boy, I had to move the pan off of the um or the burner because it was getting too hot. And as, as everybody know, we don't want this butter to burn. So this is about one stick of butter and a um one stick, and one teaspoon, one whole stick and one teaspoon of butter. Once that is melted. I'm going to add my veggies and begin making my sauce. So I'll be back in a sec. So for my fish to fry it in, I'm going to fry it in with this. Mix with a little bit of um, regular flour. Just a little bit uh, for the kids. And myself and whoever else don't want it to be so spicy because... Ooh, that was my garlic. Alright. I'm also going to use this on the side for those who want something spicy. Because I like my fish a little bit spicy. So I'm going to use some of that for mine. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so today I'm cooking this fish today inside of some avocado oil. Because I try not to use regular vegetable oil too much. I like olive oil. This avocado oil been doing me right. So that's what I'm using. So this fish is well seasoned, y'all. I've been marinating for a day and a half, I'm going to say. The oil is hot. I'm about to put this food in right now. Water boiling for the noodles. That butter is melted. I'm about to add that back to the fire and get it popping. I'll be back, y'all. All right, here are the veggies all chopped up. I'm going to add them to this pan right here of the butter. It's nice and melted, as y'all can see. Everything going in at the same time. I'm gonna let these, how they say, sweat a little bit. Let me turn this back up because the oil has um, cooled down. The butter has cooled down because it was too hot. I had to take it off the fire, y'all. I'm gonna let those veggies cook down a little bit. How that's looking, y'all. Let them cook down a little bit. Let me break those up. Try to spread everything up and around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now, you guys could cut your vegetables and cook your vegetables however you want to cook it. But this is how I'm cooking mine. Yeah, I'm going to go grab the other things, you guys, and I'll be right back. So, y'all, these vegetables is looking good. They is sweating. Okay. They is sweating so they can't sweat no more. Let me move y'all a little bit closer. You see that? They is sweating. Mm -hmm, all right. So, to mine, I am going to add a little sprinkle of flour. I couldn't tell y'all how much flour. I'm just going to add a little sprinkle. You know, this is optional. You don't have to add it. But I'm adding a little bit to mine. Give that a little stir. Stir, stir, stir. Yeah, so that little bit wasn't enough. Let me get a little bit more. Not too much, y'all. And you want to make sure you stir it up really, really good. Because you don't want to... You can actually taste those little chunks of flour. Stir it up really good so it can melt in there. Mm-hmm. Like so, like that. Like Tabitha Brown say, like so, like that. All right. So then now I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to pour, y'all. I don't know exactly how much I'm putting in there. I'm just pouring until I think it's enough. For right now, that's enough. Okay. Right, so to this, I'm going to add this all-purpose Greek seasoning. I don't measure, you guys. I just add. Like they say, you season to the ancestors, tell you to stop. Put a little garlic powder. Because only because this is um shrimp, that's why I'm adding a little obey. Of course, a little bit of salapia mama. Not too much because I do want my kids to eat it. And a little bit of Larry, you know. put that back there right now this has become one of my favorites y'all oh excuse me i had to sneeze some chives i'm gonna put all that back up when i get a chance you guys oh excuse me sneezing again you know what they say if it ain't if you ain't sneezing it ain't seasoned you feel me? Little onion powder. Let me make sure I'm not burning nothing. Black pepper. And I know what I'm looking for. Another one of my favorite seasoning, some parsley. All right, and I'm gonna stir this up. Let me pick y'all up so you have to see a little bit better. Stir this up. Let it cook a little bit until it starts boiling. And um. I'm going to add my cheese, and I'm going to come back. Now, it is boiling, doing what it needs to do, y'all. So, now I'm going to add my cheese. All right. Right here, I have a mixture of two different cheeses. Oh, just dropped one. I didn't have that much mozzarella, so this is mozzarella 
and provolone. Right. I don't know how much that was, but you've seen it. Just eyeball it. That's the cheese I'm adding in. I also have my Parmesan, grated Parmesan, shredded Parmesan. Okay, I'm going to add some of that. Yeah, added some of that. That should be enough right there. I'm going to add a little chicken broth to this once this uh, thickens up a little bit. And yeah, that's going to be that. That's the sauce, y'all. This chicken is over here getting golden brown. I mean, the fish. I'm talking about chicken. The fish is getting golden brown. About to take that out. The water was boiling, but I had to get a bigger pot. I forgot I had kids, I guess. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll be back, y'all. All right, here's the chicken broth I'm going to add. I'm going to add just a little bit to the, um, the sauce. That, about that much. I don't know how much that was. I don't measure, like I said before. Almost forgot the star of the show. I'm going to use some mild jerk seasoning because my kids cannot take the jerk. Okay? They barely eat rasta pasta anyway, especially the shrimp. But they'll try it. So I'll be back. Alright, so the fish is coming out pretty, y'all. Look at that color. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm hmm All right, y'all. So the shrimp is shrimping. I'm just going to get those, get a little bit brown on one side. Well, turn pink. The noodles are noodling. The fish is fishing. <laughs> nah, I'm wilding with that. That's the sauce, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to be back with the finished product. And I hope y'all like the video. All right, I'll be back, y'all. This is the Cajun um, cornmeal fish fry. I'm just gonna put me like two pieces in here because the kids don't really like spicy stuff and this is kind of spicy. I tried to give it to them one day. I didn't know it was spicy, but this shit's spicy, y'all. So I'm just gonna fry two pieces with that. I hope it look as pretty as the other one and I'll be back. So here is the fish, you guys. Okay. So But it looks like I got more sauce. I'm gonna let it sit for a second because y'all know how the sauce draws up on it. I'm gonna let it sit for a second and come back and add the rest and put it in a nice little dish and show y'all the finished product. All right, y'all. And here is how the shrimp rasta pasta turned out. I think it looks really good. It's a bunch of shrimp in here. The onions, all that stuff is up in there. I was going to transfer it to another dish, but for what? It's in the pot. And yeah, y'all, this is going to conclude the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. Share my videos. Um, hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I'm dropping any video, whether it's a vlog, a mukbang, because y'all might see this in a mukbang coming up after this vlog. But yeah, y'all, don't forget. Follow me. Share my videos, y'all. Holla at your girl. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Peace. Now, here's to the worst part of cooking. The cleanup. Damn. <laughs> 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 <laughs>